Hey, shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharuka Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Most High Power of Israel. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, our Redeemer and Savior, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Christ, and other names. Ruka Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the full understanding of this truth, which is a gift from our Savior, Yahweh Shai. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS, the ones who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity in these last days. Shalom also to the few sisters, Aquat, who are sincerely seeking this truth. It's the brother Yara Yaya Shar'ala from the GMS Italy camp. And the title of this lesson is Bishop Nate of the IUIC Lacks Humility, Road to Downfall. Now, um, as you know, there is something known as respect amongst us in Israel. And this man is an elderly man. Speaking of the Bishop Nate, he has been in this truth way before I could even dream or imagine of coming into this truth. So... This is not a disrespect or this is not, um, you know, whatever you call it, you know. I just need to do the work that I've been sent by the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, in which I'll bring a, a couple of scriptures, you know, to back me up on this. And it says, um, no, that's the book of Ezekiel, the third chapter. Well, let me just get it real quick like this. Now, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 18, which quotes, When I say unto the wicked, it quotes, When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked ways, so to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood we I require at thine hand. So, this is actually referring to the house of the Israel. You see, in the 17th verse, it says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning for me. You know, so we see, whenever we see the sons of Israel, of Israel who are, you know, uh, deviating from the truth, doing some wickedness, we have to give them warning from the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. If not, their blood is going to be required at our hands. And these scriptures, remember, as written in 2 Timothy, um, let's, let me just write it like this. Proof. Not really good at remembering scriptures. Correction. But I know it's 2 Timothy. Can This is the book of 2 Timothy, the third chapter, the 16th verse. It says, All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai, and it's prof profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So our duty is that to reprove, okay, rebuke when necessary and correct, okay. If we don't do this, the blood of those who, who, who do wickedly is going to be required at our hands. Now I'm going to play this video. In which, you know, when I saw this video, I was like, wow. You know, I was like, wow. This man lacks humility. The, the, the Bishop Nate, the leader of the IUIC, you know, he lacks humility. You can see that he's being consumed by pride, okay? And he's on his way to downfall, you know, because the wages of sin is death. And the gift of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, which is this truth, which is eternal life, is eternal life, man, you know? And that's speaking of the book of Romans, the sixth chapter. Now, let me play this video. When this life is over And it starts again I want to hear Now, just a second. What has all this to do with the truth, man? You know, all these glorious apparels, you know, the, the, the... Um, the garments, you know, and there is a lot of triangles going on in their garments, you know, and the apron, the triangular apron, 
you know, it all has to do with um, Masonic um, aprons, man. You should go look it up for yourself. And this, um, this uniform thing, you know, it goes way back to the Greeks, you know. This is not a thing of Hebrew Israelites, you know, putting on these um, uniforms. We are meant to be uniform in the truth, you know. But our, our dressing is not meant to be uniform or whatever. Then if we want to wear the same things, we're free to do so. But, you know, all this thing has nothing to do with the truth. Then you can see the pride in this man as they walk in. You know, you can go watch the full video yourself as they walk in. You know, the people hail them. And if they walk around with all these security dudes that are looking tough, you know. And these men, you know, they were all lined up, man. They had their, their heads or their hair all shaved perfectly, you know, which is against the commandments. You know, you can you can just see that this is not it, man. This is not called for it. This has nothing to do with the truth. Let's play again. When this life is over And it starts again I wanna hear Well done Welcome Well done Well done Well done I look to the hills Where my help from I just wanna hear you can you can clearly see all this i would have you know gone a little deeper into this masonic things but you know I'll just leave it like that you know you should go make your researches yourself we've done various videos you know you know showing you how you know these masons you know they they put on aprons and all these triangular stuff you can see the garment has a lot of triangles there is nothing bad about triangles but you know um we are warned you know what's that scripture um making the scripture without making the scripture blameless man you know let me see if i can really quickly get the scriptures Please just, you know, bear with me. I'm trying to see if I have the scripture I saw right here. You know, we're meant to present this thing, you know, blameless, man, without blames. Khan, it's the book of um, Second Corinthians. It's not even here. Second Corinthians, the sixth chapter. Oops. Second Corinthians, the cheap, the sixth chapter, the third verse. It says, "Giving no offense in anything, that the ministry be not blamed." Okay, so we are not meant to be doing things that's going to make the ministry be blamed. You know, and remember, the scripture tells you what has light to do with darkness. You know, so if these people are actually walking in light, what do they have to do with all these Masonic aprons and all these Masonic formations and stuff like that? You know, this is these are the things we're meant to look after. You know, you can see these men are not really doing the work of the most high Yahweh Hashem Shai. And mind you, before they put on the style of this show, they had a, a fashion show. And <laughs> when I saw this video, I was like, whoa. But the thing that made me go, whoa more was when i found out that it was the night of the passover man they had fashion shows they had all these things on the night of passover and we know that the passover is a solemn assembly you know a major example is yahweh shai our savior on the night of, it, of the passover you know it was a night that he was alone with his apostles you know it was a night of not joy or happiness or or, or or feast or whatever this is a solemn night it's a night in which the angel of um, of death moves around and kills you know we've done lessons on this you know it's 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 a night to be to be to be sober a night to be to be humble you know 
more of all very humble you know a night to be to be to be praying for the protection of the most high yahweh shem yahushai you know it's not a night you want to be to be to be praised to be healed you know as if you've made it into the kingdom so all these things are the things that you should be watching out for you know in these hebrew israelite camps you know there are lots of different hebrew israelite camps just like in those days you had different sects you have this you had the sect of the pharisees you had the the sect of the sadducees the the essence the sicaries you know you had different sects and that's how the thing is today man in this hebrew israelite thing it's not all who call themselves hebrew israelites that are doing the will of the most high yeah how about shem yao shai so you do really you really don't want to be carried to and fro by doctrines of devils man and how do you know that this man they're not doing the full will of the most high yeah about shem yao shai first of all if you watch the whole show they did the whole show i don't know how many hours i think for three or four hours you know without even calling on the name of the most high yeah about shem yao shai you know they did a show without calling on the true names of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai, and this man, Bishop Nate, is being found to be a liar, a double, a, a, a double, um, double speech, man. You know, he says something, then he comes back. He says he never said so. Then he tries to to bring another lie to patch up the lie he lied at first. So these are the things you should watch for, you know. By their fruits, we shall know them. These are the fruits coming out from this man. You know, this is not a slander. This is a warning, man, to those who are blindly following this, this man. These people are all about the money and their merchandise. You know, they are all about, you know, um, uh, displacing the, the sheep of Israel because they are thinking they're not doing it with humility and they're not doing it with, with humbleness of mind. They're not doing it according to, to how it's written, in which we're going to bring out some scriptures. Let's watch on. Welcome, well done. I just want to See it that's meant to be a so-called man of the most high yaba shim yao shai you know see how the people are hailing him the women the, everybody hailing him you know he has a sort of like a, a military behind him man <laughs> this is all pride man and it's not called for on the night of the passover which is meant to be a solemn assembly now you can go check out the history of the great millstone all the passovers they've had and the, the apostles and elders of great millstone starting from the elder apostle taha they hold passovers that are solemn men they're not dressed in any kind of attire they don't have people clapping for them or whatever they just come they teach the truth you know they break bread they drink wine they do they eat the lamb and, and they do the ordinances the way they're meant to do it simple you know this is what the real Passover is meant to be. And that's how our Lord Yahushai held it. He didn't have any Passover in which he, people were hailing him, you know. And at that time, Yahushai had lots of people that were going after him, man. But he, he decided to do it only with his, with, his, with his 12 apostles, man. The 12 closest apostles. He didn't do it. That they were disciples anyway. His 12 disciples before they became apostles, you know. He didn't do it in this fashion in which this man is doing it. These people are doing it, man. And we should we should take example from our savior, Yahushai. Let's play on. And you know, these women are really simple, you know. When you start having all these, you know, men dressed in such attires and all that thing, you know. These women are simple. They start following emotions and all that thing. Start praising men instead of praising the most high, Yahweh Hashem, Yahushai. That's why in, in Great Millstone, we don't, we don't have any women coming to our camps or coming to our gatherings. You can never see a woman, you know? This is the difference. Because the gathering is a gathering of men. Let's play on. And 
And you can see that pride in his eyes, all the accolades. You see the, 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 the glorious dressing, the triangles and all that thing, you know. And it looks so much just like the elder um, Manata Zakba said. It looks so much like the, 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 the Roman, the way the Roman soldier would have their, their loins, you know. You can see all in triangle and all that you can see you can see the, the the pride in their eyes you know they have their beds all lined up all looking fresh all looking good you know in their best attires man this is not what the truth is all about this is not what the truth is all about don't be deceived let's play a little more Savior Yahweh Shai didn't do none of this, man. You know, our Savior is the example we should follow. And this is all pride. This is all pride. I'm going to start with the scriptures from Philippians, the second chapter and the third verse, which says, Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory. Now, let's look up that word strife. It says, Eritaya. Editaya, electioneering or intriguing by for, for, for office, apparently, in the New Testament, accounting distinction, a desire to put oneself forward, you know, man, in this thing of ours, we should put our Savior Yahushite forward, not all men, you know, this is all about vainglory, let's look at the word vainglory, it says, kenodosia, and it says, vain glory, groundless, self-esteem, empty pride, a vain opinion, error, you know. And the funny thing is, you know, they all get gathered. We, they speak for us without calling the name, the true name of the Most High, Yahweh Shemi Shai. Even the name of the organization is not called by the true name of the Most High, Yahweh Shai, you know. And these people, you know, they have the, the 501c3 exemption, whatever, you know. Which makes them part of the organization of the churches, you know. They're nothing but a Hebrew Israelite church, you know. And we know that we are the church, actually. You know, we're not meant to follow um, the ways of this, of this um, um, society that has been led by Esau Edom. Just like I read, we're meant to have things that I'm, uh, we're meant to do things in, in the way not to, to get this doctrine, you know, without blame, man. It says, let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind. Let each esteem each, uh, let each esteem other better than themselves. You know, you don't put yourself first. You know, you, you need to be lowly. Let's see if there is that word lowliness. You know, let's get the definition. It says low in status or importance, humble, you know, to a low degree in a low manner, you know. So we have to be humble in this thing of ours. Let's get humility. Let me see what's humble first. Humble. The word humble says late 13th century of person, submissive, respectful, lowly manner, modest, not self asserting, obedient. From old French, humble, humble, Elia Omele, in which um, in Italian you have humile, okay, for the word humble. It says, for Latin, humilis, lowly, humble, literally on the ground, you know? It says lowly, kind, state, condition on our mounts, okay? Now, the elders and apostles of Great Millstones, you know, <laughs> you would never see them in attires that are 
this that flashy you know having the members clapping for them and all that thing man no those men are on the streets every week you know teaching and that's an example of leadership in this thing of ours remember yahweh shai washed the feet of his of his of his apostles man and you have the scripture you know that tells you that he that is you know great amongst you should be the lowest in which we're going to get it says look not every man on his own thing but every man also on the things of others let this mind be in you which was also in yahweh shai and mashiach you know the the the, the way yahweh shai came is the example we should follow he says who being in the form of of the most high thought it not robbery to be equal with the most high but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men so who are we meant to be we're meant to be like yahweh shai you know men yahweh shai made himself of no reputation you know the word reputation goes into keno keno okay it says to to empty make empty say of a mashiach he laid aside quality with or the form of the most high to make void deprive of force render vain useless of no effect to make voice cause a thing to be seen to be empty hollow false Yahweh Shai came with no, he made himself of no reputation, you know. So this is this is the man we're meant to be after, man, you know. And he says, and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. You know? Man, we are we are we are meant to be humble in this thing of ours, man. You know, let's look up the word humble. It says, tapeno, tapeno. It says to make low, to bring low, to level, to reduce to a plane. Metaphor to bring into a humble condition, reduce to minor circumstances, to assign a lower rank or place to, to abase, to be ranked below others who are honored or rewarded, to humble or abase myself by humble living. You know, these men are not going by that standard. You know, these men are going when by their own standard, man. You know? This is not the standard they're going after. You know, they're going totally behind. The, uh, you need to listen to the introduction they gave this man. You know, I think they were the last three to come in and they said, the person introducing said, if you go watch the video, he said, the three most important men on earth. Can you just imagine such? He said the three most important men on earth and these are the men these are the men you know you you you, you should be following <laughs> just take a look man and now let's get some more scriptures man this is all vain glory man it has nothing to do with the truth going to the book of uh, matthew the 23rd chapter in which you know the twenty the twenty third chapter of Matthew. You know he speaks about all this thing, man. He's speaking about the the sects that were around in those days, in which these are the same sects coming back again. You know. I'm going to start from. Let's see. Oh. Oh, this chapter is beautiful, man. Can it says let me read from here it says but all their works they do for to be seen of men they make broad their phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments that's exactly what we're seeing today all they do is to be seen by men you know <laughs> they make all these beautiful apparels all these you know marvelous garments and all that thing you know all to be seen by men you see the women are plowing, and those women are actually wives of others you know just like i said these women are simple it says um 
by all their works they do for to be seen of men. They make broad their phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments and love the uppermost rooms at feasts. And that's what it is, man. <laughs> they have they have the uppermost places in the feast. They sit on the big podium and they speak, you know. They get all these applauses, man. They love the uppermost room at feast and the chief seats in the synagogue and greetings in the market and to be called of men, rabbi, rabbi, you know. Now, look, is that not what we're saying? You no, know, he walks in and, you know, look, this is this is exactly just what you're saying, man. You know, these men are back to their lot, man. You see, they love all those accolades, you know, all the, 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 the breathtaking scenes from the women. And it says, But be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, even Amashiach, Yahushai, and all ye are brethren. Okay, now, if you look at the great millstone, they have a way of doing their thing. You know, the apostles are just, man, those men are humble to hurt, man. They're meek, you know. They're just around the, the brethren, you know. They teach. All they care about is to teach this truth, man. They don't care of how they look. They don't care of their fashions. They don't line up their hair up just like the way Bishop Nate lines his hair up. You know, they don't line their beds. You know, they don't put on these marvelous garments. They put on, let's say, they put on sack clothing, man. And they're out there every week, week in, week out. What other leaders of other camps are not doing? They've gotten to that big position that they, they, don't, they don't see themselves doing such things anymore. They go out every once in a blue moon, you know? They go out now, they'll start coming out now when the weather starts getting, you know, warmer. But remember, the true apostles were out there in and out of season, man. And it says, And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. Neither be ye called masters, for one is your master even Hamashiach Yahushai, you know. And this this Hebrew Israelite comes, they call themselves captain, master, you know, general, commanding generals, and all these things, you know. This is what they love. Our 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 elders and apostles have the name of them, man. This is this is really spiritual. And really, if you're not seeing this thing, man, it's because the most high has blinded you and doesn't want you to get this thing and you're you're set for, for destruction, for a rude awakening, man. You know? These men go by the name Apostles and Elders, man. They go by the name Apostle, you know? Wow. And none of them call themselves Apostles. They call themselves Generals, Commanding Generals, you know, uh, uh, Captain, you know, Captain this, Captain that, you know? That's what they go by, you know? It says, But woe, no, it says, Can this is a nice point, man. It says, But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant, and whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. But this man is not humbling himself. This is not, there is no humility in what I see, man. You know? There is no humility in what I see. This is all self-exaltation. Self-exaltation. You know? We need to humble ourselves. In due time, Yahweh Shai is going to raise us up. You know? Just take a look at all this thing, man. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. For our people wax more and more wicked, man. It says... But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for ye neither go in yourself, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. And this is, if you have the spiritual understanding to get this point, this is exactly what's happening in all the camps, you know, those that are teaching things that are different from, from, from the great millstone. And also in this IUIC, because... The people that are their members, 
They don't let them call on the name of the Most High Yahweh by Shem Shai. They teach doctrines that just makes you, you know, forget about those names from time to time. They teach them wicked doctrines in which the most important doctrine right now is the MOTB. You know, is the, is the thing that's coming. And the only camp that gets it right is Great Millstone. Which that thing, without that thing, you can't buy, you can't sell, you know. And that thing is going to be inserted in, under your flesh, man. It's a chip, you know. They are not teaching about that thing. They're teaching about something else. They are, they are, they are, they are being a, a stumbling block from people of going into this kingdom that's about to come, you know. That's why we we're told to watch out for false prophets, man. Because many will come in sheep's clothing, but inside they are wolves, man. They'll tear you apart. And many people that goes into uh, the IUIC, if they later wake up into the truth and leave, you know, they become, if they later wake up to the fact that they, 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 they have to leave that camp, those people, you know, they are really difficult to... to um to be cured man because there is a great damage that that's um that group leaves on you man that group leaves you a great damage you need to learn everything from beginning again you can see what happened speaking on the time of jacob's trouble this man was was on tv you know saying there would not be a time of jacob's trouble and and now that he's saying that you know these things are coming to pass just like the the true prophets who are the prophets of great millstone they've been teaching now he's trying to adhere to that doctrine but coming up you know not being humble you know being very very um disrespectful and um and arrogant about it you know lying that he never said that you know and trying to amend you know there is no humility in this place. If you're, if the if the head is 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 bad, then the whole body is bad, man. And well, this scripture really, I'd really advise, I'd really advise everyone to go read down, man. Read, you know, to read the rest of this scripture because, man. And what I'm just saying, it says, "Woe unto you, scribe and Pharisees, hypocrites." For ye come past sea and land to make one proselyte. And when he is made, ye make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. You know, people that go into um, the IUIC, they become more wicked than they were in the world. Having sex on the Sabbath, you know, um, 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 not calling on the true names of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai preaching a totally different doctrine from what the truth is on the MOTB and all this wickedness, man. So when you come out of that place, you're, you're worse two times than you were in the world. That the doctrine in, in, in IUIC, it, it leaves you a permanent damage, man, and it takes only the spirit of the Most High, Yahweh, Shem Shai, to make you recover from that damage that has been made to you. You know? But unfortunately, our people are carried away by what they see, you know, all this beautiful apparel, you know, all this. This is what our people are carried away from, you know. They want the women, they want the beautiful apparel, you know, the, the top places in the room. Man, this is, this is a glorious kind of, you know, sight, man. The women crying, you know, screaming his name, you know, and look at him, look at that, look, just take a look, man. This is not what the truth is about. This is not what the truth is about. Remember, this was the night of the Passover, man. A solemn assembly. I bring out there really there's really a lot that I can go on into this lesson, but I've been speaking a lot. I didn't even bring out scriptures that I meant to bring out, but it's all good, man. You know. Let me just bring out two more scriptures and I'll close. This is the book of um James. Read the fourth chapter. We'll start from verse six. It says, "It says, but he giveth more grace. Wherefore he said, the Most High resisted the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble." You know. And you know we are saved by the grace of the Most High Yahweh Shemiah Shai. 
We are saved through grace, man. And this is the time we really need is grace. And these end days that are coming, this time of Jacob's trouble, we would need more of that grace. So if you're proud, if you have this proud look, this proud appearance and all these things, following this wicked doctrine of IUIC, you know, and the Most High is not going to give you His grace, man. Because His grace is given only to the humble, man. The Most High resisted the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. You have to be humble in this thing of ours, man. Humble, man. It says, Submit yourself, therefore, to the Most High, Yahweh Shemiah Shai. Resist devil, and he will flee. And you know, the devil is the adversary, man. And the spirit of devil is also walking in this false prophet. All these Hebrew Israelite camps that are teaching the wicked doctrine, that are not teaching that the MOTB is, uh, is the chip that's going to be inserted into your hand. The digital money system is going to be included in it. The digital ID, you know, if they're not teaching you this, it's the spirit of devils, you know, because the spirit of devil lies, man. It's the spirit of devils that's working in this man. So you've been warned. It says, draw nigh to the most high and it will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. <laughs> Who is a double-minded? The Bishop Nate is a is a damn big double-minded man, man. Tomorrow, um, a day before, he's going to tell you there is no time of Jacob's trouble. Tomorrow, he will tell you there is a time of Jacob's trouble. The other day, he's going to say, no, um, the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai doesn't matter. Then another day is going to tell you his true name is Yahweh. Okay? So this is a double-minded man. He's not stable, man. He's not stable. And he says, Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness, man. This is the spirit we have to be in now, not the spirit, man. Do you think these people are heavy? Do you think they are they are they are they are, they are, they are sober? Man, they look like they're already in the kingdom. They look like they don't need any savior, man. <laughs> Just take a look at these people. Are they sober? Are they heavy-minded? Wow. Just take a look. Is this the spirit you should be in now? No. This is not the spirit you should be in now. This is the time you want to really be in your right mind. Sober, heavy. You know, expecting salvation from the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. But this, this is not what those men are doing. You know? He says, Humble yourselves in the sight of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and He shall lift you up. You know? He says, Humble yourself in the sight of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and He shall lift you up. So you shouldn't be you should be you shouldn't be seeking for people to lift you up, you know. You shouldn't be seeking for that fame in this place. You know our fame is going to come. Our fame is coming, but first humble yourself, and the Most High is going to raise you up at the right time. And this is what many are not doing. This is the book of um, First Peter, and I'll close up with this scripture, First Peter, the fifth chapter and the sixth verse. It says, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High, Yahweh Shem Shai, that he may exalt you in due time. Okay, casting all your cares upon him, for he careth for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Okay. So, does it look like what these people are teaching? You know? No, it doesn't look like, man. These people are not being vigilant doing so, you know? They're not being vigilant, man. They, they, because they're not, they not teaching for you. They're not teaching you what you should be vigilant about. The scripture tells you to be vigilant, you know? Paying attention for, for what the adversary, the devil is preparing you know there is a video i'm meant to add to this lesson but you know i don't have it on deck but it's all good you know they're telling you in the world forum 
you know they're telling you that the next step is the digital currency and it's it's going to be inserted in you and all that thing you know these people are not teaching about that they're not keeping you vigilant they're keeping you asleep so i am not slandering i am not here to 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 to, to say things against or whatever but I'm just doing what the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has told us to do. We should warn the house of Israel because these people are carried away in their folly. This is not the time for all this. This is not the time for all this. You know, the devils, are, who is the so-called white man in power today, they are steadily walking, putting arrangements to get you enslaved by their MOTB. That is Revelation, the 13th chapter, the 16th verse, the mark, you know. But our people are being foolish, you know, doing all kinds of fashion shows and all that thing. You know, this is this is the night that is supposed to be you know, uh, a, 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 a solemn night, man. Just take a look at what's going on. What's the difference between these people and the people of the churches that we, we criticize? There is no difference. There was the difference between these people and the so-called Christians that, 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 we, that, 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 that we criticize. There is no difference, man. You know? And saying all this, I'll bring out the last scripture and I'll close. This is a very beautiful scripture I like bringing out. You know, one of my favorite scriptures. It says, Malachi, the third chapter, the 18th verse, it says, Then shall you return and discern between the righteous and the wicked. Between him that serveth the Most High and him that serveth him not. So hopefully, this lesson was edifying through the spirit and power of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Shai. I'd like to give all praises, thanks, and honor to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baharukah Kodash. Until the next one, Shalom.